Yo guys, Lord is Santa, and welcome back to today's video on the channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Welcome, obviously, back to the WWE 2K20 US Mode series. As you can tell, we are obviously at the pay per view for Bad Blood. Finally, it's been a while, it's, and it's took us quite a while to get to the pay per view. But obviously, the roller coaster now has come to an end, and we are now at obviously a pay per view. So obviously, the first match, um, as you guys can tell, we have got a Money in the Bank briefcase match. Obviously, two competitors. Obviously, the current Money in the Bank um, holder, Finn Balor, will be defending his Money in the Bank um, briefcase against AJ Styles in tonight's match on the obviously the first match in today's match card. Um, also, guys, we're seeing more of these 2K episodes. Let me know down below. I was about leaving a like and also making sure to obviously go and drop a comment as well. Let me know what you thought about today's episode as well. Um, Regarding the paper as well, by the way, before getting to anything else, um, this will probably be like say for um, like a three-part episode video thing. So obviously you have part one, part two, part three. I think so obviously there was a lot of matches to record, so it was like twelve in total. So obviously uh, I've only put uh, I think three on today. It actually, no, it actually, no, it'd be, it might, it could be even more than actually uh, three parts. This. Uh, show so i'll see though obviously depending on how many i get into an actual video uh we'll see it so if i don't make the videos too too long so obviously everyone won't watch the video so i can't make the videos too too long but obviously um it's going to be a fun ride either way there's some good matches obviously on today's match card um obviously i don't want to spoil them for you but obviously watch the video and obviously you guys will find out there's some, there's some pretty good ones but what a match though to start off with of finn balor though um and obviously aj styles two really big mainstream names in wwe having a brawl for obviously the money in the bank briefcase so obviously Finn Balor didn't what's the word legitimately win he was obviously gifted the briefcase so Ace that's why obviously hence why AJ Styles thought you know what no that isn't fair I want a title opportunity and I can't get one so the only way to get a title opportunity is obviously by winning the money in the bank briefcase which obviously AJ Styles and obviously everyone else on the actual roster didn't get a chance to win because obviously it was handed to Finn Balor that's why we're here that's why we asked why at Bad Blood we've got this so let's see say for square up and obviously see what happens um, also guys add new round here say for go and give me a subscriber as well obviously we mean the more we are on the road to 1.5k subscribers we are currently i think on 1.4 so we are getting to 1.5k hopefully very very quickly that's the end goal for today well obviously for this year really but i think we'll hit it at some point anyway though into the match now finn Balor already with some big um big blows to chest of ages styles there um Okay, interesting, interesting. Getting on to the momentum going. Also, I don't know why the lighting in this arena looks really weird today. Like some of the matches, uh, for some bizarre reason, have like good lighting and some have really horrendous lighting. I don't know why, but it is. Oh, what a nice clothesline as well from the uh, AJ Styles there. But yeah, this is obviously a ladder match. So obviously the way to win it is obviously by clearing ladder in the ring and taking obviously the briefcase off the hook. And obviously that's obviously what would determine the winner. Finn Balor now top rope goes for a drop kick. Obviously, does end up missing it, unfortunately. Obviously, AJ Styles to reverse it. Finn Balor now. Big kick again. And then, oh! Into a pelly kick as well. Very nice there. Uh, drops AJ Styles on his back. Finn Balor now. Obviously, showing a little bit of confidence, I think. You know, taunting. Okay, not too, too bad. Not too, too bad. Goes for some sort of like, oh! I thought for a second he was going to do like a DDT, but obviously, turn it into a uh, suplex instead. Uh oh, here we go. Oh, onto the ladder! Ouch! Nice suplex onto that ladder though for me. Straight from Finn Balor. He's gonna do it again, I think, as well. Like two times in a row. We're gonna see it. Yeah. Oh, that looked painful. Ages. That was laid out on top of the ladder there. Finn Balor, top rope. Oh, goes to the elbow. Obviously misses it, unfortunately. Due to uh, Ages cells reversing it. Oh, they both go for the same uh, kick and both miss each other now. I see Ages cells come flying through the big chop. And then, oh, oh, was that on the ladder then? Ouch. I think his knee has bounced off the ladder, and I think uh, AJ Styles, when he went for that knee drop, and obviously did miss as well. A lot of these shots are missing, at least, uh, I would say, so far in this match. A lot of the big shots and obviously big opportunities to train, say, for deal damage on your opponent has been missed quite a lot. Oh, big far into the face there. Might have stunned AJ Styles. I think he has been stunned a little bit. Uh oh, there we go. Oh, another pelly kick, and he's fallen on top of the ladder. Finn Balor now going. Top rope again. Finn Balor. There we go. Second time round, he manages to land the elbow on top of the ladder whilst obviously stands on it. Oh, here we go. Boom! Nice signature maneuver there from uh, Finn Balor. 
So AJ Styles, Finn Balor now. Boom, another pelly kick. I think AJ Styles is also bleeding. Speaking of it, bad blood. <laughs> He's also bleeding though. <laughs> kind of makes sense a little bit, I would say. Um, I don't know what Finn Balor is trying to do it. Oh, there we go. I think we was just trying to put the ladder down, I think, in a certain spot. AJ Styles is still down though. Finn Balor, is he done, does he not know how to climb ladder, Finn Balor? Does he just forget how to climb ladder? It's just, it's easy to climb a bloody ladder. Go on, Finn Balor, you can get on ladder, surely. Never mind, he goes to a flying forearm instead. I, I'm, I'm quite concerned if Finn Balor doesn't know what to do. Oh, there we go, he finally found a way to get up the ladder. He, he, ugh, I don't know, he didn't, it's, it's obvious, he's just got to climb it. And there we go, Finn Balor now grabbing his briefcase, obviously is his possession still, but Finn Balor though, Will not be alone on the ladder though, as AJ Styles is fighting him on top of the ladder. Uh oh. Oh, big blow to the face there as well. I think it just stunned him. But Finn Balor though fighting back for against AJ Styles. Another big blow again to the face. Oh. Oh, head getting smashed. And then, oh. Finn Balor gets dropped off there. AJ Styles, top of the ladder. Frog splash. Oh my god. Oh my god. AJ Styles has absolutely no fear whatsoever in his system. He was like, I am definitely going here to save for a frog splash off the top of the ladder. And he does. AJ Styles, though, is obviously getting... What the hell is Finn Balor trying to do? Wait, oh, trying to get off the ladder. I was like, why is he pulling him down? Like, hitting him and then didn't do anything. He just pulled him off the ladder. There we go. Boom. Another forearm to the face again. Another forearm to the face once again. Irish whipped into the corner now. AJ Styles could be in trouble. Into the uh, ring, a sorry, ring post, sorry, into a suplex, and the ladder goes absolutely flying across the ring. Oh my word, like a buddy frisbee. That was never going to come back. I was never going to come back up that buddy thingy there. Oh my word. I was wondering, I was like, why on earth did that just happen? But, <laughs> okie dokie. Um, well, um, Well, AJ Styles getting ladder once again. Finn Balor's still on the outside of the actual thing here, obviously, as you can tell. That's pretty cool. Oh, AJ Styles, could he win it? Could he win it? Could he win, it? Could he win the briefcase? Surely, no. Oh. No, he can't. AJ Styles now fighting back. Finn Balor though, fighting back as well. Oh my god, these two are completely going at it once again on this ladder. They just love it, don't they, chat? They just love this bloody ladder. Look at him. Oh my god. Finn Balor now. Oh, that was a big punch to the face there. Ouch. That was a massive punch there. Oh my god. Finn Balor now struggling. I think he's panicking a little bit. AJ Styles though as well, panicking a little bit. I tell you what, it's like whoever falls is kind of screwed now. Finn Balor though getting the upper hand though. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is going on? AJ Styles is in trouble, oh my god, no way. Finn Balor now. Oh, oh my god, swinging net breaker off the top of the ladder. AJ Styles has been laid out on the ground. Absolutely no, what's the word? I don't even know what to even say. But Finn Balor though, here we go, oh, off the top of the ladder as well. Oh my god, honestly, my heart has just dropped. My heart rate has just dropped, I think, people. It's just, oh my. Finn Balor now climbing for the briefcase. Can he go and win the briefcase? Can he win the briefcase? AJ Styles is still down on the ground. I don't think he has any, say, for any energy to try and get up off the floor after that bloody drop. And also the bloody thing as well, the uh, jump off the ladder as well. I think he might have stuck all his, all his energy out of him. I think he's dead. Oh no, he's still moving a little bit. He's up quickly though, bloody hell. But can he get Tommy to fly before? Obviously, Finn Balor wins the uh, briefcase. Never mind. Oh, Finn Balor. Oh, my God. These two just love using this ladder, don't they, chat? They just love using this ladder. Look at him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. AJ Styles on his last legs. Gets chucked off the ladder, though. Oh, lands on his back awkwardly as well. Finn Balor now grabbing the briefcase. Can he win it? And he does. Finn Balor has retained his money in the bank briefcase. Right, obviously off the, well, not off the bat, but obviously rightfully deserved, I would say, from that. But what a match, though. What a performance of the first match, though, on the Bad Blood pay per Stay tuned, people. There's another match up next.
Right, ladies and gents, for me, I've got an absolute outstanding match for you. One of the best ones, I would say, on the show. And it's obviously in part one. So, obviously, better things to come as well for other parts. Make sure to go watch the other parts as well when they come out. Uh, we've got The Fiend making his debut on Bad Blood. What a great paper to obviously debut. And also, it's in a steel cage match against Seth Flippin' Trollins, a.k.a. Seth Rollins. But I tell you what, I am looking forward to this match. The Fiend, we've not seen him perform in the ring at all on this series. And now he is finally, after all this time hiding in the dark, emerged. And look at him. Look at that creature. Look at him. He's built different and he's going to be different because it's The Fiend. What do you expect? What do you expect? Nothing else but just fear. But hey, he is an absolute, he is an absolute character. Look at him. Look at him. He's got his old little Bray Wyatt little head and obviously his whole attire and his persona is completely different. It looks, oh, it's, 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 uh, it's excellent. It's excellent. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this match though. So. Let me know down below, chat, what you think your predictions will be. Will it be The Fiend getting the win or will we see an absolute upset for The Fiend's debut and get Seth Rollins the win? in this match but yeah the look how cool the fiend looks though you cannot say he look cool look at him he looks like an absolute as uh, Rob Paul would say a britcher toss he's built like a britcher toss look at him oh yeah I'm quite interested I was, I'm quite interested to actually see how uh, the sorry how uh, Mr. Fiend over here will actually do AK Bray Wyatt in his uh, first match will he be good will he come out strong you know will he come out really aggressive etc like that all this stuff Say four, I'll have to wait and see. But oh cannot wait for this match. Really good match of us on the first uh, say for the first episode or the first part of this actual pay for you. So what a great say for what a great place to put this match in the match card. I would I would usually put this at match like say for later on in the show, but I thought just to get obviously this pay for you off to absolute bang. We got have we got half some big matches in this in this first obviously part to get obviously you lot obviously the fans to be entertained, so what a great so far, great match to put in as uh, number two for tonight. There we go, though. The Monday Night Messiah, Seth Rollins, with his nice little uh, black and is it black and silver and black and white and silver uh, attire? Looks pretty cool. Actually, I like his attire that he's wearing tonight. Normally, if you guys remember the old pay per view at SummerSlam, he wore his uh, dragon, uh, like Chinese dragon themed attire. That was actually that looked really cool against uh, Drew McIntyre but obviously unfortunately lost to Drew obviously unfortunately because you know Drew's a beast but um, yeah also as well though don't forget people Drew will be facing Roman Reigns as well in a 2 out of 3 falls match uh, as the main event for the Universal Championship so stay tuned that that's an absolute cracker say for the first fall is a normal match the second fall is an extreme rules match and the third fall is a hell in the cell so three match types in one match to determine a new Universal Champion, which would be really fun to watch. But anyway, though, less of this top, we've got obviously the steel cage. Also, it looks a little bit different to what we usually see it as. I don't know why it looks different to what it usually looks like. I don't know if you guys can see what I mean, but like, there's like rust all over it and everything. This might be like one of the really old type of steel cages we've got in the. Uh, in the actual, uh, say, far place we've got, obviously, for this show. Look, as you see, there's little, like, say, far like, steel pallets and all that stuff, like, it's, like, lying around on the steel cage. I don't know why, but it looks kind of cool, though. I kind of enjoy it, all the way it looks. It looks, looks really fun to look at. I like that. There we go, though. Fin. Oh, okay, okay. Someone dropped there by the Fiend. Seth Rollins now on the floor. Uh-oh. Oh, big ch a big stomp to the chest there from uh, obviously the fiend over it. Oh my god, I'd be really careful if I was uh, Seth Rollins. I won't get one. I won't, I won't get. I, won't, I wouldn't want to get too close to uh, Mr. Uh, fiend over it. Ow! Oh god, firing back close and big punches and then oh massive knee to the face and drops the actual fiend as well. Wow, that was really quick actually from uh, Seth Rollins to uh, drop the drop the fiend. So in no signs of remorse. Here we go though. Oh, nice. Oh, gets chucked into the steel cage though. Head bouncing off that like an absolute, I don't even know, trampoline. Went flying. Oh, big punch though. Fighting back. Going for a DDT now on the Fiends. Oh, it connects as well. Nice there from Seth Rollins. Nice that from Seth Rollins. Finn Balor though. Not Finn Balor, sorry. The Fiend came flying through them with a uh, close head. Oh, I keep saying bloody Finn Balor. Where's that coming from? Oh, big kick to the chest though. 
Here we go again. Uh oh, curve stomp time. Already in the match. Boom, it connects. What will Seth Rollins do? Go for the pinfall. One. Wait, he didn't get a one count. Oh my word. Wow. That is, uh, wow. That is, that is absolutely shocking. That is like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. My breath has been took away. My breath has been took away. Seth Rollins are trying to climb the actual steel cage. Now, will he get out? Never mind. Fiend, but the Fiend. I keep saying Finn Balor in there again. The Fiend, though, here we go, though. Bray Wyatt off the uh, back gets up straight away and drops. Obviously, Seth Rollins off the actual top of it. And then the Mandacle Claw gets put in to play. But Seth Rollins are fighting out of it straight away, though. Wow, that could be some really big trouble then from. Uh, Say for Seth Rollins trying to deal with because obviously the Mandible Claw is nothing to mess about with. Nothing to mess about with that Mandible Claw. It is deadly. Put out a lot of people. Here we go again. That's twice in a row. Wow. Will we see Seth Rollins pass out? The Mandible Claw locked into his mouth. Just getting him down his throat. Those fingers. Those nasty, nasty fingers going down his throat trying to knock him out. But Seth Rollins though again. Fighting out of it once again with ease. He is well prepared for this match Seth Rollins. Oh. Never mind, boom, spoke too soon. Carver just absolutely backfired. Oh dear, Seth Rollins now. Uh oh, into the uh, corner there. Oh, Seth Rollins will get him out of it. Oh, went for a super kick, but gets reversed though by the Fiend, or just dodged it really. Oh my god. So, what's the Fiend gonna come up with now? Uh oh, here we go again. Into the steel cage. Oh, Seth Rollins also bleeding, I think, as well. His head just bounced off that. One of, the, one, of the, one of the bolts off the uh, steel cage and just made his head bleed a little bit. I got like a really bad cut, but... Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Here we go, though. Fiend. Oh my god. He is showing some absolute dominance in this steel cage match so far against Seth Rollins. He is showing some absolute dominance. Uh oh, never mind. Suplex. Ooh. Lands right at his neck as well, there, the Fiend. Not a one count again. Wow. Not even a one count. He's up straight away. Oh my god, the, the Fiend's built different, chat. The, the Fiend's built different. Look at him. He is built different. Uh-oh. Seth Rollins letting in another one. Oh, we go. Nice little transition into another DDT type of uh, maneuver. And the Fiend is bouncing up straight away, though, and goes from another, say, for a really uh, devastating clothesline. Trying to climb the cage, though. So obviously, Seth Rollins is down. Can he escape, though? That is the question. Can he escape the cage? And will he escape the cage? We do not. Honestly, no. Seth Rollins trying to get to his feet. He's climbing the steel cage really slowly though, but managed to just about, say for, stop the Fiend from getting out of the uh, steel cage or about, say for, not much time to really try and do it. Got up straight away again though after getting knocked off the cage. The Fiend's nearly out. Oh my god. On the edge to just getting out then. He was so close to getting out on the Fiend, but Seth Rollins though again. Nope. He's not having it. Uh oh. The Fiend kicked him down again. But I think the Fiend's had enough trying to get out though. I think he's going to try and end Seth Rollins already though. Is he going to try and end him I think? I think so. Here we go. Oh! Gets chucked again into, this, into the steel cage. Wow. Uh oh. I think the Fiend's having a bit of a mental uh, breakdown type of thing. Did a bit of a weird thing with his uh, hands and stuff. Oh! Uh, here we go again. Manacle Claw going in. Oh, it gets reversed. He went for the Mandible Claw again. The Fiend in to get reversed, though. Not even a one count again. Honestly, he's been pinned three times, the Fiend. Had a curve, sorry, he's had a curb stomp as well, and he's still kicking out. Let's see. Without, without, without a one count. What is one? And also, I think the Fiend's also bleeding as well now. Oh, my word. The Fiend's bleeding as well now. Everyone's bleeding tonight. Oh, went for a curb stomp. Gets reversed, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tired today, buddy, oh. Oh, nice. Into that there. Another Irish whip again into the corner. Another Irish whip into the corner. Uh oh. And a really aggressive one as well. Oh, there we go. Boom. Oh! Seth Rollins just dodged the Fiend when he went for the, uh, say, for the crossbody then. He got reversed and obviously Fiend landed his right on his, uh, on his stomach there. Oh, that looked pretty painful. Might have took obviously a little bit of wind out of him there. Seth Rollins though trying to climb the cage again. But no, gets reversed again by the Fiend. Fiend's like, nope. Fiend's there like, nope. Oh, Manical Claw going with him once again. Can I lock it in? Oh my god, Seth Rollins reversed it again. 
he's honestly he's on really top notch tonight Seth Rollins he's, 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 he's had the Monica claw twice but kicked out though oh and there we go chat as well one count has finally happened on the Fiend he's finally kicked out a one so he, 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 they got a one on him <laughs> Seth Rollins got a one count on him finally uh oh he's climbing the cage though uh, the Fiend trying to get to his feet as quick as he possibly can do he has took some damage in this match though so far in the Fiend he has took quite a bit but not as much as obviously Seth Rollins has Seth Rollins is trying to get out the cage but the Fiend though pulling him back in by keeping him obviously on that top of the uh, thing up there though will he uh, escape? probably not uh oh uh oh He's pulling him back in, there we go. He's pulling him back in now to the uh, steel cage. On the side, they're both fighting on the side of the actual cage. On the look of them, both still on the bloody ropes. Uh oh, Seth Rollins. Oh, he's fallen! He's fallen off the actual uh, ropes. And now his head, his head bounced off the thing. Oh, there we go. The Fiend. Uh oh, uh oh. You know what's coming now. You know what's coming now. What's he doing? You know what's coming now. Manical Claw once again. Will that be the final part of this match? Or will that finally knock him out? I think it's just knocked him out. Seth Rollins is trying to say for get a bit of breathing room, but I don't think he can do. One, two, three, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Bray Wyatt, aka the Fiend, gets his first win on the series after a phenomenal performance against Seth Rollins in a steel cage match, but Say for after a play for a certain amount of times having the manacle claw, it was obviously inevitable it was gonna happen at some point where it knocked him out and it did. It knocked him out. Seth Rollins were knocked out. Obviously that manacle claw going down his throat like three or four times and he was just like he could he couldn't do much after. But he put a good fight up though, he put a good fight against uh, Bray Wyatt though. But yeah, that is uh, that match out of the way. That was a really good match actually to watch as well, I think. Really insane match to watch. But yeah, I've obviously got another match though up next and that will be on very, very soon. I'll see you there. And now here we go ladies and gentlemen, the last match on this video until obviously the other parts come out. We have got tag team action for the Raw Tag Team Championships. But here are our challenges though. The Street Profits, the people have been absolutely tearing up this tag team division lately. Getting some big wins and obviously they have also defeated the Uso Brothers as well already once. So... Is that a sign for tonight? Is that a bit of confidence going into this match to go and take the belt off the Usos? Possibly. It is a strong possibility that could happen. But will we see that though? We do not know until obviously this match obviously does come to an end. But we are just getting started though. Here though, the Street Profits are already in great, great moves. Look at the spirits obviously. Look at them. Look at the confidence on them. Both of them. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins. Both dancing down to the ring. They got us in the bag. The confidence is going for the roof. Nothing can go wrong for them. Their chance, their opportunity is here right now for them to go and take the belts off the Usos. But obviously, the Usos are a very, very strong, say, follow tag team and obviously really experienced tag team champions as they've obviously been champions before. So, this is a massive, massive, say, for massive, massive win for the, uh, say, for the Street Profits if they do win. If they do win. You know, so time will tell. Time will tell. But let me know down below though if you guys watching this obviously in the premiere, um, who you think will win. Um, if you're always watching this at home, obviously you can't if you're watching it in the video now. But if you're obviously watching this in the premiere video or the premiere thing, uh, let me know down below obviously who you think is going to win. Will it be the, the Street Profits or will it be the Usos? I would probably say, I don't know. I'm not too sure you actually. I would, I would actually would predict out of this match. I'd like to see the. Usos are tame, but also I would like to see some new champions though as well, make it a bit more different, a bit more fresh. But here they are though, the Uso Pigitonary, whatever it's called. Penetric pen I can't say the bloody word. But yeah, here we go though, the Usos are out though, that's the main thing. <laughs> uh, I also think Jimmy Uso's belt's a little bit glitched as well for his t shirt, but I mean so's also Jimmy's as well, but hey, the matter though, look at the they don't care. They don't care. 
they don't care. I have to talk to the wardrobe designers. I think they've uh, had a bit of a uh, wardrobe malfunction with their uh, belts and their uh, t-shirts and stuff, clashing, sorry, clashing with their uh, stuff. Uh, we, we, we don't we don't pay them enough to do that's why we don't pay them enough. That's why they want more money. That's what they're doing on purpose on the show. But ah uh, well though. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. These shows have been doing alright as well, like I just mentioned as well. Not just always the, the um, street purpose, but also these shows have been doing really well, obviously, as well, lately on the show. So, mm, even match. So, yeah, get into this match then. Here we go, off to a great start as well. A little bit of chain wrestling as well there from uh, Montes Ford. Pretty cool. Jay Uso, though, on the ground, though. Obviously, started this match as well for the Uso, so Jay has to take full performance well in this match. Big chops coming in for Montez Ford. Jimmy, sorry, Jake is, is just taking him at morning time. He's like, yeah, hit me as much as you want to, mate. I will uh, stand here and just let him hit me. <laughs> he doesn't care, does he? He doesn't care one bit, does he? Oh, net breaker though as well. Ouch. I would I would hate to have a net breaker delivered to me. It'd be horrible. But here we go. Here we go. Aris whipped into the corner now, but Jimmy makes the tag though to work. Uh, to Jay, so Jimmy's in the ring now, whilst Jay's out the ring, here we go, off the ropes, Irish whipped, boom, nice, back elbow to the face there, for Montez Ford, look at the confidence of Montez Ford though, he is absolutely hyped this match, he wouldn't be though, it's obviously your first time, in it, but obviously if this is your first time, that it could be your tag team championship opportunity, and he, I think everyone would be the same though, wouldn't they though, I would, here we go though, into the corner, oh, Jimmy though, off the, uh, reversal, BAM! Into a DDT as well, very very nice there from Jimmy Uso Very very nice transition to a DDT And a big chop, oh my god, I guarantee the gods could do that in the god stands in the uh, stadium tonight That was a really loud chop, one Oh, only a one count, only a one count, that's fine though Montez Ford though, showing no say four signs of uh, fatigue Oh nice uh, head put there as well Jimmy going for the tag again now, Jay Uso's back in the ring now Nice it's so safe for keep tagging each of them in and out, just keep that, obviously, the uh, consistency. Then Montez Ford now tags in Angelo Dawkins, here he comes now, Dawkins in the ring with uh, Jey Uso. Jey Uso now staggering on his feet, Irish whipped. Oh, Dawkins tried going for something, but obviously Uso blocked it, unfortunately, though. Boom! Nice. I like that one either. Cool. Angelo Dawkins. Oh, gets kicked in his uh, inner fire there, ouch. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, that looked painful. That looked painful then from uh, Jey Uso. Oh my god, what is that move called? I don't know, but... Oh, referee also got knocked over as well then. <laughs> Watch out, referee. Watch out, sunshine. You're out in the way there. Oh, nice uh, face breaker as well there. That looked pretty painful as well, buddy. hell. Oh, to the back. Ouch. Trying to lift him now, but Jey Uso's like, nah, mate, not having it, mate. Boom. Oh, here we go, another DDT. Bam! Nice DDT there, nice DDT. I like a DDT. It's cool. Cool move. Cool move. There we go. Oh, Dawkins now went for it, but we get so obviously a Vista. Bam! Oh my god, another big punch to the face there. Wow. Okay, okay, interesting, interesting. Jey Uso now in the corner with uh, Dawkins. A little couple of kicks to the chest and side legs as well. Targeting him as much as he can do. Oh, Dawkins missed. Uh oh. Here we go. Net breaker. Ouch. Buddy hell. And here comes Jimmy Uso now again. He said for the Uso just like done like what? Tags it is non stop. Dawkins nearly made the tag there, but gets obviously stopped by uh, Jimmy Uso though. He was having none of it again. He was having none of it again. What is going on? I don't know. Here he comes now, goes to a DDT again and gets reversed. Wow. He doesn't care, does he at all? Dawkins, nice uh, suplex there from Angel Dawkins. Picking up uh, Jimmy Uso now. Irish whipped into the corner, bounces off the thingy turnbuckle and gets speed. Wow. Will he go for the pinfall? No, he will not. Into the turnbuckle again. Here we go. Lifts him on top of the turnbuckle. Oh, big punch to the back of the head there as well. That looked pretty painful, that. Here we go, though. Dawkins, sidewalk. Some, I think, is going to come in and bound. Boom! It connects. Nice. Like that. Jimmy Houston now trying to get the tag. Jay Uso's in the ring now. And also, Montez Ford's been tagged in as well now. So, that obviously, Uso 
G, and obviously now we've got Montez Ford as well in the ring again. Boom! Nice DDT as well. There's a lot of DDTs in this match so far. There's been a lot of DDTs so far. Jey Uso now, keeping that momentum on his arm. Oh, locking it in as well. But Montez Ford, though, fighting back. Oh, that looked painful, that, one. that last one that looked pretty painful. Here we go. Takes him down. Nice. Love that. Love a bit of that. Go on. Montez Ford. Bam! Leg drop to the chest. Goes to the pinfall. One. Two. Jay kicks out though. Thank God. Thank God. There we go. Irish whipped into the corner now. Montez Ford makes a tag. Angelo Dawkins. Boom! Gets dropped. And then Dawkins. Oh, big slam. Goes to the pinfall but gets reversed though straight away by the pinfall being honestly overruled. Oh my god. Dawkins. Oh! Montez Ford just pulled the rope down on his own tag team partner there. Jay used to though getting a bit, a bit confident but obviously Montez Ford's like, no mate, you're not getting confident. Get get right mate. <laughs> I love that from Montez Ford. Funny. Pretty funny. Oh! Jay used head bounces off the uh, barrier there. Gets thrown back into the ring as well. Dawkins picking him up. Latest signature manoeuvre. No, he will not. Jey Uso now. What's he doing? Oh, what's going on over here? Oh, okay. Dawkins is fighting back now. But Uso is also fighting back as well. Jey Uso. Aris whips him into the corner. Uh oh. Uh oh. What the? What the hell? Jey Uso. What's he doing? Dawkins could be in trouble. What? They're on the top row, but he's facing the wrong way though. Jey Uso! Oh my god! What on earth did he just he just did like an outside suplex off the top rope? He just didn't want to go and do it in the ring. He was like, no, I'll do it on the on the bloody outside, mate. Make it more hurtful. What the hell? Oh my word, what a suplex. What a suplex from the uh, Jey Uso there. Dawkins though. Top rope now. Oh my god. Oh! Misses the elbow because obviously Jey Uso gets the tag last second and gets the tag to Jimmy Uso. So Jimmy Uso's in the ring now. Oh my word, what a match! What a match we've got on this so far, morning so Really enjoying it. It's interesting to watch it. Jimmy Uso. Ooh! There we go, Jimmy Uso in the, in the corner now. Dawkins making the tag. Oh, oh, boom! Finishing tag team maneuver. There we go. Oh my god, get kicked out again. Wow. Wow. Uh-oh. Boom. Uh-oh. Oh! Right on his knee. Montez Ford reversed it though. Jay, uh, Jay, Jay Uso now back in the ring. Isn't he? Yeah, Jay Uso's back in the ring now. Getting took out there, not bad. Um, here we go, Montez Ford. Boom, leap drop. Oh, only a two count, only a two count. Lucky that, really lucky that from uh, obviously <laughs> thingy bobs. Bloody hell. Uh oh, drops him as well on the floor, wow. Oh! Jey Uso's like, nope, get wrecked, mate. One. Oh, only a one count. Only a one count. Oh, lucky that. Montez falls on his feet though, already, though. Jey Uso, boom! Oh my god, Montez falls bleeding now. I guarantee you, in every single match so far tonight, we've had one person bleed. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Uh oh, Montez Ford now to Jimmy Uso. <gasps> Boom! Outside suplex. Nice, love that. Oh wait, no, sorry, power bomb, sorry. Outside power bomb, my apologies. Wrong, uh, wrong maneuver. I apologize, chat, don't kill me. <laughs> Here we go now. Montez Ford getting rolled in the ring now from obviously Jimmy Uso. Jimmy Uso now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What the hell are they doing here? Some tag team maneuver? What the hell? Dawkins! Lift him up! 
Oh, what a manoeuvre. That was cool. I like that one. That was pretty cool. Don't worry, it's cold, but that was cool though to watch. I like that. Dawkins went for a drop kick, but gets reversed though by uh, Jimmy Uso though. Thrown into the ring posts. Oh, oh my god, that's a big, that's a big punch to the face. One, two, will it be over? No, Jay Uso breaks up the pinfall. Oh my god. Oh. Dorky's trying to try and get Jay Uso off the off the rope. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. Uh oh. Bit of a brawl between these two. Oh my god! Uh, Jimmy Uso went for a super kick there and got reversed. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's only a two count again. Uh oh. Oh! Super kick to the chest there and gets a nice little uppercut as well. Uh oh, here we go, chap. Here we go. Super kick inbound. Super kick inbound. It connects. Dawkins gets dropped on his back. Will it be all over? Will the Usos retain the belts? Two! Oh my god, Montez Ford broke up the pinfall. Just about with literally a half and a second to go. Oh my word. Lucky. Dawkins fighting back though. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jimmy Uso's in trouble, but never mind. He's fighting back again though now with some big blows to the chest there of Dawkins. And a headbutt as well comes flying through. Oh my god. Right, Jay Uso on the side there. Doesn't want anything to do in this match. I think he's too tired. Montez Ford though gets in the ring now after Dawkins gets tagged out. Boom. Montez Ford fighting his way into this match like he doesn't care anymore. He wants this belt round his waist after this match is finished and I think he might do it. Oh my god. Jimmy Uso struggling. Jimmy Uso struggling on his feet. He's down. Montez Ford. Montez Ford setting it up. Here we go. Boom. Leg drop. Goes for the pinfall. Will it be all over? One. Two. Three. There we go. We've got new Raw Tag Team Champions in the Street Profits. What a performance from the Street Profits. So what a performance. Can we just say. Oh my word. But yeah, that'll be it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you obviously enjoyed it so far, go give it a massive like down below. If you get 15 likes, that'd be absolutely incredible. And I will see you guys in, obviously, the next episode of this Bad Blood pay per uh, Obviously, like, little series thing. Because uh, it's a so far couple, couple parts, that's why. But yeah, uh, I will see you guys in the next video. So far, take care, and I will see you guys in the next stream. Take care, boys. Peace.